What's up, everyone? Welcome to Unravel with Vadella, the platform for discussing the business of creative and demystifying the culture around it. So today I'm going to actually talk to you about crockpots and microwaves. Crockpots and microwaves are essentially the cooking mechanisms needed in the modern age today. And I want to talk to you about how to cook your personal brand in crockpots or to cook your personal brand in a microwave. Essentially, the analogy comes from this whole idea of the expectations people have when they go digital, the idea of people getting lost in the illusion of the instant gratification that most social platforms provide, and the idea of a client or a customer coming to you wanting you to sell their product for them, having no ad budget or content or never have done content in the past and wanting to go from zero to 100 in two days. Microwaves don't get you the kind of juicy stew that is needed that's been stirring over years and years well. <laughs> That'll be a little rotten stew. So I wanna to talk to you today about crockpot brand building. How to build your brand in a crockpot? What are the phases that you need to really get into to really understand that for you to eventually ask for a sell, for you to get your customers to buy your product or hire you for your services that you're offering them, what are some of the relationship equity mechanisms that you need to kind of put into place and have in mind from a marketing standpoint so that you can essentially build a deep relationship with that end customer or the person that you're building your content for or you're putting your product or your service out for. It's gonna take time. The goal, the pillars with which, on which the digital um, brand building industry is set up is divided into the three pillars of authenticity, consistency, and giving value back. If you're a person who is showing up on a consistent basis always offering value when you're not being asked to, and you're really authentic about what you have to say, you can back what your words with the work that you've put in, I think it's really important for you to actually start reaching out to more and more people, and it'll be very effective for you to actually do that. Because that's the first phase that any crock pot brand builder wants to kind of get into. The first thing that we need to also keep in mind at that time is this simple idea that the phase one is to simply bring awareness to the people. The mechanisms that you're going after it are brand building and reach and impressions. You're just simply trying to put yourself in front of them. And once people get start getting used to your content, they see that you're providing them value and you're literally showing up, putting your valuable time out there to kind of give them some sort of, some things or knowledge that they, won't, they didn't have earlier, will definitely build some sort of dividends with you, with them to work with. So. As you're building the awareness, the second thing you want to step into is start building engagement around it. You know, start talking to the people who you feel are already paying attention to you and start engaging with them. Start asking them questions. Maybe start giving them advices and tips in person on your comments and other places. So as you're doing that, the phase one is doing its thing of giving awareness to your content and your brand, whereas engagement comes in and makes you more approachable. It actually makes you give that it, it defines you as a brand that people can reach out to, they can, they, that you'll be there for them when they need you or your services, etc. So once you've got your awareness metrics going, you've got your engagement going, as your stew is getting there, the third stage that comes in is where you need to bring in your conversion mechanisms. All the way from retargeting these people when, when they're visiting your ads all the way to the website and bringing them back, to asking them to click somewhere or go somewhere or buy something. Once we've done these things, like once you have the awareness you know, in place, when you have engagement in place, and then you get bring in the conversion metrics in place, that's when I feel like the stew is really ready. It's not like a ramen you're gonna give three minutes with some water in it in the microwave. It's your personal brand. You really want it to be something that you taste and you remember for the rest of your life. And for us to do that, we really need to get into the mindset of realizing that for us to want to have a lifelong relationship with customers that keep coming to us again and again, when you want an audacious ask like that, then we must also put in the work of showing up every day for them and really genuinely building a relationship where you've built equity in that by showing up every day consistently and with value. So be a crockpot marketer, not a microwaver. <laughs> <laughs>